Hello, mind people, this is Tom. So you wanna have more, become more, be remembered more than you are now? Listen, this is really important. It doesn't matter if you have no money or a dollar. A couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand, a couple million, or even a couple billion. It doesn't matter if you have no time, a few minutes, a few hours. It doesn't matter if you have zero connections, you know nobody, a few connections, or if you know everybody in your neighborhood. The only way you're gonna become more, attract more, be given more, have more or create more is when you can be trusted with what you already have. When you become faithful with what you have now, you will have more. Under promise, over deliver. You don't need more resources. You just need to be resourceful with what you already have and you'll have more. To quote my favorite, the late great Jim Rohn, you don't need things to be easier. You just need to become better. You don't need less problems. You just need to develop more skill, more spiritual maturity, more emotional muscle, more personal growth, more faithfulness with what you've already been given. Unsuccessful people always focus on their circumstances, just telling it how it is. It keeps it how it is. But once the ones that make the major breakthroughs, after the major breakdowns, are focusing how to construct a way and getting started fast even if they have no idea how to finish yet. Unsuccessful people are being pushed around by their circumstances, while people who inspire are being pulled by their vision because they wanna become, and it's how they wanna be remembered. All that stuff is pulling them harder than their circumstances are trying to push them around. Unsuccessful people being pushed around by their circumstances, all focused on their circumstances, and just telling it how it is. They're saying things like, they'd do more if only they had more time, money, support, this or that. Successful people being pulled by their compelling vision, all focused on constructing ways to be able to get what they want. They're not telling it how it is. They're being faithful and resourceful with what they already have. They don't need more resources, and neither do you. You just need to stop. You just need to stop being a student of the wrong people and the wrong ideas and be the best student in the world of the right people and the right ideas and the right philosophies and the right beliefs. So you got five friends telling you they have tried a business opportunity and it didn't work for them. Great. If you want to build a business that creates freedom for you and your family, and your family, don't learn from them except maybe for what not to do when you build yours. If you want to build a business that creates freedom for you and your family, find people who crushed it by bringing others with them, and then you ask them how they did it. You wanna lose weight and even stuck for years? Great, go find someone who's struggled for years too and then lost it and then kept it off for more than 15 minutes. Don't learn how to lose weight from the yo-yo down the road who actually sacrificed their health to lose the weight and then they just put it back on again. When you find the right teachers, the ones who really resonate with you, honor them by being faithful with what they teach you and seeing it all the way through. Otherwise, you disrespect them and you actually sabotage your own self-interest. Listen, you don't need more money. If you were given more money for free, then when you have more money, you'll probably just go further into debt with it and create an even bigger mess of an already messy situation. When a person has some money, it's easier for them to go even further in debt and more often than not, that's exactly what they do. When a person starts with zero dollars, or any amount of money, it doesn't even matter, and they learn how to create, I'm sorry, they, they learn how to create some of their own money without having any money, it's in the process of doing that, that one learns to be faithful with what they already have, so they are able to create more and more and more as they keep becoming faithful with what they have and what they gain, and so on. The biggest givers and philanthropists I know of out there are the ones who are focused on becoming more to get more. They did not wish for more so that they could have more. They became resourceful with right where life had already planted them, and then they grew from there. They learned how to create money on demand without having any money to do it. That's impact, that's contribution, that's making a difference, that's creating freedom. And it's also solving enormous problems at the root instead of chopping a weed off at the top. So the same problems can finally stop popping back up in life again, over and over again. Pretty cool, hey? This belief that you need money to make money is one of the biggest lies that's floating around out there and it's most commonly believed in. The believers of that vicious lie 
they stay stuck, justifying why they're at where they're at and just telling it how it is, all focused on their circumstances. Very few people will break out of that circular pattern. So have your major breakthrough. Be the few. <laughs> so here's the beginning of a journey to finding the right plan that is right for you, that truly resonates with you. That's that you're actually going to put to work and make it work for your benefit, the benefit of your family and whoever and whatever you want to impact and contribute towards. That's my hope for all of you. So, so here's what it is. Instead of setting goals, which rarely ever works, set some no matter what's and you will murder your excuses <laughs> no matter what, pun intended. If you find yourself still justifying where you're at instead of where you want to be, then you still have goals rather than no matter what. I hope that makes sense for you. This actually goes to building a more compelling vision than you've had in the past that wasn't enough to pull you. The real world test to know if your vision is big enough is if you're still being pulled or pushed by your circumstances, no matter how tough they are, or you being pulled by your vision, no matter how tough your circumstances, and no matter what you just got hit with this week. If you're still being pushed around by your circumstances and you're still justifying where you're at and just telling it how it is because you just got hit with something big this week, then you actually have a vision problem, not a how-to problem. The how-to won't work. You'll never see it through if your vision of who you want to become and how you want to be remembered, remembered isn't big enough to pull you through the toughest of times. I so hope that makes sense for you. Fix your vision problem first and then you'll be able to make the how-to stuff count for real. When your vision is right, you'll make the right plan work. And it'll work great no matter what life throws at you. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are at that point because your vision is compelling enough. Even if you have a bad plan, but your vision is compelling enough, you'll construct a way to make it work no matter what you get hit with this week. It won't even matter. <laughs> I hope you pulled something useful out of this. Visit my website, tomberkenmeyer.com. Read my blogs, subscribe to my YouTube channel, connect with me on social media, and share with me anything in this video. And my words might have pulled out of you that you're going to get to work on right away. I'd love to hear about it. And any results you get from anything I've shared with you, I've got literally thousands of resources and I'm constantly adding. I know a lot of stuff that has helped a lot of people. If I didn't resonate with you, find someone else who does. Someone who has a track record of helping other people outside of just helping themselves. And then share that with me. I'll still be in the front row cheering you on wherever you get what you need, regardless if it's for me or from somewhere else. In gratitude, this is Tom. Take care. See you soon. Use this for action, not just feel-good stuff. Otherwise, the feel-good will run out and turns out to be pretty worthless. So I'd love to hear about what you're actually going to implement fast without putting off. That is better than gold. Take care, everyone. I appreciate you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.